But what led you to functional medicine? Because was it nature? Was it nurture? Why did you ask these questions where traditional doctors mm. are not asking these questions? They're treating symptology rather than actually getting to the root cause. What was it in your background or your nurture or nature that so, helped you? You know, when I qualified as a cardiologist and I went to work at one of the big hospitals, cardiology hospitals in Johannesburg, uh, and I was the youngest cardiologist uh, at the time uh, at this hospital and it was exceptionally busy you know but I after about two years of practicing medicine and cardiology I was ready to give it up I hated being a cardiologist I hated being a doctor because it felt like a revolving door okay patients would come to me we put in stents into their heart it would be great and then they would come and say but I'm tired and I can't lose weight and all I could think of in my head is, well, why don't you just stop eating, you know, <laughs> because that's how we were trained, yeah, sure. you know, and um, I didn't have the job satisfaction that I thought I was going to have. And at the time, uh, I met a, a very good endocrinologist friend of mine, and I sat down one Saturday afternoon with him and I said, listen, this is, I'm going to go and I'm going to give up medicine. And he introduced me to the concept of functional medicine almost 18 years ago and it took me about two years to have a paradigm shift in terms of looking at patient well-being more holistically, uh, approaching the, a patient very differently uh, and looking at a preventative model uh, rather than a reactive model to care. And one thing led to another and uh, as I said, you know, it, it's developed the experience over the past 18 years, been involved in training many younger doctors uh, in functional medicine and introducing them to the concepts. And I've had patients from all over the world actually fly down, come and see me, um, and one patient tells many other patients. So uh, functional medicine uh, hasn't necessarily in the South African setting uh, made the impact that it should be. Okay, it should be. Uh, across all doctors should be practicing this way I believe. Our universities are not geared up for training uh, physicians in functional medicine like other countries uh, in the world so there is a void and a gap there but um, it's a growing field and more and more doctors are starting to now have that paradigm shift from a traditional model of practicing medicine to perhaps maybe looking at a model of care that's a bit more holistic. I think the reason why it's been slow, it's also because in the beginning it wasn't called functional medicine but called anti-aging medicine. Mm. And that brought its own connotations with it. And now that we've moved away from the term of anti-aging medicine uh, to one of more functional medicine, uh, I think it's becoming more acceptable uh, to many doctors.